Hey everybody, I'm uh, running around tonight because I'm trying to wrangle up some fishing tackle. I'm finally, finally, since the first time I'm starting this channel, we're finally getting offshore. So uh, we're heading offshore. Allegedly, Chase is going to be coming with me. Uh, we're going to be going out on a friend's boat. And the plan right now is to do a little snapper fishing and also do some, some deep dropping. So hopefully it works out. Weather is really windy today, but it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So um, buddy Nick, he's got a 25 blue water, which is a pretty nice darn boat. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we, uh, we get to show you filleting some fish tomorrow, finally. So uh, buckle up, it should be a lot of fun. morning of and Chase is coming with and he got right out of bed we had to get him up at what time uh, like six six o'clock in the morning <laughs> had to wake him up and he popped right out of bed and got got dressed and we forgot his sunglasses so we had to buy some at the gas station and not a good start to the day but uh, we're waiting at the boat ramp here and what for are we gonna, yeah for our friends what are we gonna catch today oh uh, like uh Swordfish, maybe, um, maybe a shark. That sounds like a pretty good day to me. I hope so. I hope so. All right. Well, let's get uh, let's get rolling here. We're gonna unpack and um, we'll we'll get started.
All right, so what happened there? So we hit up one of our favorite spots to go reef fishing and uh, fishing was slow. Fishing was not too productive. So why, why was that? Well, two things happened on, on this particular day that we went out there offshore. We had a really strong 16 mile an hour west wind. And most people who go fishing will, will tell you when the wind's from the west, you stay home and rest. And that's exactly what happened to us. The second thing happened is that we had the largest moon of 2021. It was a super moon. It was our first one. It was called the pink moon on that very day. So we think that that um, the moon plus the west wind really screwed up our reef fishing. So we decided that we're going to head offshore and try to do a little deep dropping and uh, take a look. Let's see how that turned out for us. So we got out and uh, did some deep dropping and it actually opened up really nice and, and you could tell from the video that it was um it wasn't nearly as bumpy as it was when we we're in shore two things happened there the wind died off a little bit um, but also the the period opened up so we went from about a six second period when we're inside in the reef when we started off we we're about three miles offshore and when we finished up we were probably uh 14 miles offshore give or take. Uh, so the period opened up, so it went from about six seconds in between waves to probably, you know, 10 or 12 seconds in between waves. So even though the waves were probably the same size, they're much further apart. So that makes for a nicer trip. Um, anyway, so the deep drop and didn't turn out quite as we hoped either. Um, partly because of those first two things, we had that, that, that pink moon or that super moon. And we also had that strong west wind. So fishing wasn't real super hot altogether but also the current was ripping uh, five or six knots. So we, we got hung up and we had a hard time hanging on the bottom. So when you're deep dropping and the current gets really that strong, um, some people say it's just kind of time to do something else. And that's what we did, we came home. So luckily enough, I had pulled out some red snapper that we caught down in the Tortugas and uh, we decided to cook that up. So Chase and I made a gourmet dinner when we got home and um, here's what it looks like. All right, welcome back. So um, we're gonna do a little red snapper tonight. I think we're gonna um, do a little uh, cast iron skillet and put it on the grill. And we're gonna do a mixture of like oregano and parsley and olive oil. It's gonna be really delicious. So Chase is gonna get us started today. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get some lemon zest. So we're gonna do both lemon zest and lemon oil. So why don't you get us started? So we're gonna take our little shredder here and flip that just like that and we're gonna we're gonna zest that is fantastic just like that so we're getting a bunch of zest off that lemon 
we're here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna add a little lemon juice and we're gonna save a little bit for mom in the morning. So the next step is we're gonna take some lemon juice and when we're doing lemon juice, here, watch this. Here, move that over here. So we do lemon juice. We're gonna take the fork, stick it in there, and then squeeze like that. And when you do it, you move the fork around. Why? It helps get extra juice out, just like that. All right, let that go. We're gonna save that. You know what we're gonna do with that? What? Throw it down the garbage disposal. It helps with the stinkiness, the garbage disposal. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Squeeze okay. tight. On top of it. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's like a gusher. It's a gusher. <laughs> beautiful. Nicely done. We're going to take our red snapper. All right. Big fillets. And we're going to go right in the bag. Okay. All clean. And then we're going to go ahead and add our lemon zest. So throw that in there. Tap it all out. There you go. I got a little cut on my finger and that lemon is finding that no problem. And so we For got what? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? So we I got our lemon lemon disgusting. zest. Do you want to throw our just garlic in there? Nope. Nope. Oh, all right. It looks disgusting. Oh, come on now. Garlic scoop it. Olive oil. You want to do that? Sure. Yeah. All right. Dump the olive oil in there. It looks kind of like really loose honey. Salt and pepper? It looks like really loose honey. It is, yeah. Just the uh, cracked pepper and sea salt. Ooh, that's good stuff. Beautiful. It looks All right. like there's salt. So the other thing we have to do is we got some uh, um, oregano from the garden and that's all been washed. Can I? Yep. And go ahead and we're going to if you want it. What do I do? All right, so we're gonna throw that oregano in with the marinade. We're gonna let that sit for about an hour and we're gonna come back and- uh, An hour? Yeah, I know. It's, and throw that oregano in there and we're gonna dump it in. There you go. There it is. All right, masterpiece in the making. We'll see you in an hour. <laughs> All right, so while we're waiting on that fish to marinate, uh, we got a couple other things we got to get moving here. So we've got some dried parsley, we've got some butter, and we've got our lemon juice that we just worked on uh, just a minute ago. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cook the fish on open flame on both sides, and then we're going to move it into this. This is just a tray of aluminum foil, and we've got a little base in here that I've just kind of made. And we're going to move the fish off of direct flame and then we're going to we're going to brush on the mixture of the lemon juice and the um, butter and the parsley all together and then whatever's left of the garlic and the oil mixture that we marinated in we're going to brush that on there too so we're going to move it on to an indirect heat So just the smell is like killing me because this garlic and that lemon <laughs> zest together is pretty fantastic. So we're gonna take this, these fillets. It's hurting we're gonna go my right eyes. on open flame. It's hurting my eyes. That's burning. Right on open flame. <laughs> Why does it make it go like that? And we're gonna cook it like halfway on open flame, and then we're gonna move it to an indirect flame on the tin foil that we talked about a minute ago. We're gonna be basting that with all the uh, lemon and the um, oil that we talked about. So.